Well, as you know, we make it interesting every year, and I say we because I've been an integral part of this show since day one, and I'm proud of it that they that they have me here to do certain things and help out, and I'm delighted to be able to do that every year. So this year, if you're a Ford guy, you gotta love what you see when you walk in. When you walk in, all these Ford guys are, are astounded by the beauty of, of all those boss cars in front. Uh, and then we have an amazing, amazing Oldsmobile, the twin engine Tornado, which is right near in front. And that's a spectacular car that people have just talked about the whole weekend. So uh, this is a 1969 300 Deluxe SS396 post sedan Chevelle. These cars are great, but very hard to restore because the parts are not available. Guesstimated, and I always say that guesstimated because there's no true blue documentation, but a guesstimated number is 1,400. 1,400 cars were built in this base model in an SS396 option. You would get the uh, SS wheels, you'd get the SS exhaust, the performance package of the engine, the, the stripe package, uh, all the embleming, but the interior was always 300 Deluxe. So only bench seat, only bench seat, and the unique interior is, is I believe, to, in my opinion, it's one of the most masculine interiors out there because it's just to look at it it's just breathtaking it just it, it's called a taxi cab interior because it's simplicity because it looks so cool um, but it's hard to restore because the material is different all the door panels are different the seat material is different the headliner material is different the sail panel material is different uh, so it's a difficult car to restore for all those reasons and only one place has that material in America there's one one place that has it and so uh, it's difficult. So because they're plain Janes and such low production numbers, you can't go buy rubber floor mats. These cars had rubber floor mats. They were heavy. And that's what ruined these cars also because of the moisture that was underneath those mats. Certain cars are just deserving to take it to that next level. And this one, as of today, is a one of one car we're looking at here. Why? Because it's a Fremont built car. It's the only Fremont built car as of today that we know that's in Cortez Silver, which you're looking at right here. This color is stunning. It's stunning. Uh, it's just a, a great, great color. Proud to say that very few uh, non-NOS parts are on this car. That's what makes it the high caliber restoration. And that's what I try to do with all my cars, is if I can find that GM part, I'll wait for it, I'll wait for it, I'll wait for it. When I have it, it goes on the car. I just love them because of the simplicity, the simplicity and, and the basicness of the cars. Uh, we got an award pick, which is great. I was happy about that. You know, there's so much to see here. It's, it's always great. It's, it's, uh, I look forward to it every November. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's all worth it. If you're any kind of a car guy, uh, it's a, it's, I, I, I see people and meet people every, day, every year that this is their first time and they're just blown away. And I tell, and I tell them, I told you, I told you, what did I tell you? This is the best indoor muscle car show on the planet. Yeah. And if you want to register your car, just uh, go to mccacken.com.